Hello everyone! Uh, this next game was played in 1989 between the Belarusian Grandmaster Viktor Kuprejcik and the Brazilian Grandmaster Jamie Neto. And uh, this game has a reputation of being one of the wildest games ever played. So let's see this wild game. Uh, we have e4 by Viktor, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to c3, and now uh, the Brazilian Grandmaster plays a6. Uh, we have knight to f3 and we have b5. So, uh, quite an opening choice by the Brazilian Grandmaster. Uh, we have d4, c captures on d4, knight captures on d4, and bishop to b7. And okay, this bishop on b7 is a very strong piece now, but uh, developing this slight square bishop early in the game will cause uh, well, the black king to stay in the center for a bit long, than, longer than he should have. Uh, we have bishop to d3, uh, e6, uh, white castles, and uh, queen to c7. And here we have queen to e2. Uh, we have knight to c6, uh, knight captures on c6, queen captures on c6, and now a4. Uh, white wants to open up some lines for attacking since uh, the black king is still in the center. We have b4, and uh, now of course white doesn't retreat the knight, he plays knight to d5, because, well, the knight cannot be captured if, if for example, e captures on d5, then e captures on d5, and uh, black loses the queen, uh, since it's checked from the queen on e2. So after knight to d5, uh, we have uh, knight to f6, and now white plays the bishop to c4, adding protection to this d5 square. Uh, bishop to d6, and now uh, rook to d1. Uh, white isn't really worried about uh, black castling kingside, because if black tried to castle now, for example, uh, black castles, uh, white would just capture the knight with check. We have uh, g captures on f6, and now bishop to h6, and uh, black loses a rook. Because if uh, if black tries to move a rook, then simply queen to g4 check followed by queen to g7 checkmate. So after this rook to d1, uh, black played a bishop to c5, and uh, this is well, this is uh, an amazing position because uh, black doesn't want to castle uh, kingside, but uh, white would really enjoy if uh, black castled kingside. And now white plays a move that's totally. Uh, well, uh, he totally doesn't allow black to castle kingside. He plays bishop to h6. And uh, he's uh, threatening to grab this g7 pawn. And if, if, the, if the bishop is captured, then simply knight captures on f6 with check. And uh, probably the best move for black here would be to capture the knight. Knight captures on d5, and after e captures on d5 with an attack on the queen, a queen to c8 uh, grabbing this pawn on g7. And after rook g8, uh, well, white is better here. But uh, black might have uh, found some compensation with this, uh, with this strong bishop eyeing the g2 and also with an open g file. Uh, but after bishop to h6, black said, I don't want to have anything to do with the king side. I mean, it's it's looking really ugly there. I'm going to play castle's queen side. So, okay, uh, black castle queen side, and here white immediately jumps into the attack. He plays bishop to b5. And, uh, okay, this is attacking a queen, and, uh, well, black can, of course, capture the bishop, but the queen has nowhere to go. She can go to d6, but this is putting your queen in front of the rook. So, which black will have to do eventually, but uh, he decides to grab a piece before that. So we have a capture some b5, a capture some b5, and now queen to d6. And uh, white temporarily wins a piece back. He plays knight captures on f6, opening up the attack on the queen. Uh, we have queen to f8, and now bishop captures on g7. We have queen captures on g7, and now queen to c4. Attacking this bishop on c5, and well, if this bishop falls, mate, mate is soon to follow. Uh, we have d6 by black, and now another beautiful move by white, he plays uh, rook captures on d6. And, uh, well, the threat is, of course, again, capturing this bishop, and if uh, if rook captures rook, then simply queen captures on c5 with check. And uh, the king cannot uh, get anywhere near the rook to protect him, so this will be over quickly. Uh, so, after, after this rook captures on d6 move, black tried uh, queen to g5, now defending this bishop from g5. Uh, but again, white plays a wild move, he plays knight to d5, and now cutting off queen's protection of this bishop on c5. Uh, black captured the knight with e captures on d5, but uh, even if black captures the rook, then again queen captures on c5, and well, uh, there's this knight on d5 now, so she could even check on c7 and then grab the rook. So we have e captures on d5, and now queen captures on c5 with check, king to b8, and uh, it seems like uh, black survived this attack, and he is up a piece, and well, black doesn't really need a lot of moves. For example, rook g8, and already black is on the attack. And uh, well, white does have this uh, queen to a7 check, but after king f8, there's uh, really not a lot of moves for white to play. 
uh, but white manages to find another brilliant move and he plays rook to c6 and uh, after after victor played this rook to c6 his opponent resigned uh, because this is this is a beautiful move as now the rook rook protects uh, well the c file here and the threat is uh, of course the queen queen to a7 checkmate and uh, there is no stopping this if if for example uh, bishop would capture the rook on c6 then simply queen to a7 check king to c8 and uh, b captures on c6 and there is no stopping checkmate on b7 okay black could try something like rook to e8 but then simply queen to d7 and while well, the king back this is again checkmate so yeah after this uh, after this rook to c6 move black resigned and uh, well it's a beautiful game a, a miniature at that 23 moves so yeah, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed this wild game, and uh, I do hope you enjoyed uh, watching the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz tournament. Uh, Levin Arion really won the entire thing like a boss, uh, both Rapid and the Blitz section. And uh, he was actually two points in the lead uh, <clears throat> before the tournament ended, so he, he had first place secured two rounds before the tournament ended. Uh, but nevertheless, he won his last two games, so, so quite an achievement, definitely. And uh, I am interested if uh, if any of you have uh, have seen Gary's masterclass, or if uh, any of you are thinking about purchasing it. I, I haven't seen it. I only saw the advertisement for it, and uh, you know I'd like to know uh, wh what it's about. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here, and uh, I will see you soon.